Hello. So I just wanted to share a beautiful evening last night um, when I whole, held uh, an evening with Spirit Baby with a group of gorgeous women, a very intimate group. So the babies were able to come through with individual messages, of course, but also some collective ones and a couple of practices um, that I'm going to share with you now if you want to take part. Um, so lots, lots of messages and one of the uh, one of the kind of key ones was actually around your partners, um, particularly those of you with um, male partners, and how that old paradigm of you know the man's job is to have sex and that's it, um, that's the end of their journey until baby arrives, um, and um, they were saying you know that they were really they're saying that they're choosing the mums but they're choosing the dads as well, so for the dads to kind of step up um, into that okay connection as well um, with uh, with the whole fertility journey so that was one interesting thing that came through from the babies um, how you do that with your partners um, you know it doesn't have to be oh spirit baby wants this it can be with their language it can be with where you know where your, where your partner is at just you know just this little nod to they are more they're playing a much much bigger role um, than they've ever been than they've ever been told you know it's not it's not uh, a conscious thing it's just that's the program that we've been in um, it's all down to the woman so um, yeah just bringing in bringing in the, the, the male partners um, into into the equation a little bit more was one of their messages um, they also shared some beautiful personal messages because that's what happens when I'm holding these intimate groups. Um, the next one's not likely to be till January, but if there is demand, then obviously I will hold one uh, towards the end of December as well. Um, so gorgeous healing meditation. They also uh, came in with a beautiful activation, a womb activation. So that's a bit of a longer story of how that came about. Um, being my spiritual sleuth with all the little signs and messages um, and it's something that I'll be bringing into my new program that's being run on, uh, starting on Sunday actually, so opening your pathway to empowered IVF and assisted conception um, and there'll be a womb activation in there. I knew something was going to come through um, closer to the time and it seems like it is that like really opening up these codes of creation actually um, so that's something that will be part of uh, part of the new program um, so please do message me or take a look at my website deborahkilber.com uh, for any more information on that it's on my blog I think um, okay so the practice there was a few practices that again I'll be adding into the program that they showed very simple very quick there was a lot of inner child messages that came up to love our inner child, to nurture them um, when we're feeling scared of, you know, we might not even, we might not even be feeling scared of being mum, um, you know, consciously, um, but these kind of unconscious wounds of, of your own baby self and when you were a child and having your needs met and were you, did you feel loved, did you have your needs met, um, there's something that goes on in the mind. Um, which is completely unconscious that is well if I didn't feel looked after will I be able to look after my baby um, and of course you will this is just coming from uh, an, you know a previous wound so um, we'll also be looking at inner child stuff and womb stuff uh, within the program as well so one of the um, exercises that I'm going to share with you today um, the first image actually they showed us last night was I saw a podium you know like a, a you know an athletics win where you where you step up into first second or third you get your gold silver or bronze medal um, and they said you know some of the energy around conception we can be caught up in this energy of competition of you know we've got to get the prize we've got to get onto the top of the podium we've got to we've got to win um, and this is really like an old and the competition as well like being in the competition um, is someone better than me is there someone better than me for, for my baby no the answer is no they've chosen you you are absolutely perfect for them however you're feeling about yourself and what they're wanting is for you to feel uh, you know that you are uh, you have been chosen you are already a winner you're already on that podium um, uh, and but we're just lifting this energy off 
So if you just take a moment to close your eyes, just breathe your eyes closed. It's so quick, it's so easy. And feel into perhaps when you were at school maybe, maybe there's a memory. Just think about that competition energy. Um, wanting to, that you're having to work really hard for something, having to struggle, having to, you know, to, to do something in order to win the prize, in order to get what you want, in order to be on that podium. Um, so just take a moment, close your eyes, and maybe those horrible sports days, well I thought they were horrible anyway, you might have enjoyed them, you might have been on the podium. Um, so the baby's really bringing in this kind of competition energy, this old patriarchal way of being to be fair, which is, you know, you have to win, you have to try, you have to push, um, and that's not conception energy. So just sitting with yourself for a moment, just breathing, landing in the space and feeling into that energy wherever that might be, that fear energy or the pressure energy of needing to win, needing to achieve and it might well be a memory of being in some sports competition and just let that bubble up. And what the baby showed us was you can imagine this like you're inside a, a cardboard box. So this energy is all around you where we're all in it. And it's like a cardboard box. That's how they see it. It's like we're in a box. That's how we might feel it. We're in a box. We're being put into a box. You're either getting a medal or you're not getting a medal. So feel and imagine this cardboard box all around you. All the way down to your feet. Just reach down to your feet. Imagine that your fingers are going underneath the bottom of that box and literally just lift it up. Lift up that cardboard box of competition, of achievement, of trying. Lift it up, up, up and just fling it up into source. Lift it off. Take yourself out of that box of competition, out of the box of achieving energy. You're already a winner. fling it into source and what they said is that's something that you can do every morning so you, when you get out of bed you can just feel your feet on the windows as, soon as you put your feet on the floor just bend down imagine that box feeling that energy of competition and achievement whatever memory or memories are coming to you lift it up and fling it up into source so you do not need that energy your babies know you don't need that energy, you're already a winner. They want you to see yourself and feel and know yourself to be um, that, that person, that woman who deserves to be there, deserves to be on the podium. This is what our babies are doing always before they arrive. It's lifting us up and lifting any energy around us that may be holding us back from remembering how powerful we are, how amazing we are. All right, so just a really quick, gorgeous uh, little exercise for you. Give it a go. Let me know how you find it. Um, but really feel that energy. You can even sweep up your body, up your legs to feel that energy coming up and off. It's just an energy, it's just a box that we've all been put in and we don't need to be in that box. You don't need to be in any box, okay? Apart from the structure maybe that you wish to create in your life because you are the creator. Okay, you are co-creating with your babies. You're not in it alone. You're co-creating with your partners. You're creating with your donors. You're creating with any medical support. Okay, you're creating with me if you're working with me. You're co-creating all the time. You're not alone. Okay, my darlings, so please do take a look at um, the, um, the program. The timings may not work for you. Everything will be on replay. I'm happy to do replays live as well. Uh, if you happen to be in different time zones, because I know that's a few, few of you have got in touch saying, I just won't be able to make the lives. Look, this is a really important moment. Um, not a moment as in, it's, this is the only moment, I don't want to say that, but it's just the energies are beautiful, that babies are very much around and we will be co-creating with your babies in this program. Okay, so lots of love. Any questions, please do ask away and get in touch. Lots of love. Bye.